This morning I was, um, I'm getting ready to go to work, but I, I decided to get Blender out and, and play a little bit and see if I could optimize this. So this is just a new idea, and I think it'll actually help out just a little bit. We have all this this surface material, the foam and everything that's, that's just, uh, and the spray and the bubbles, um, that are just beautiful. But um, below that, and especially because this, this surface we can't see into very well, um, the the fluid surface. I mean, it's it's got this volumetric material that's that's just gorgeous. You can see shadows in it and everything. But um, the way we have it set, um, let's see here. Let's have a look at it. The way we have it set is is at um, density of 0.4. You can barely see into it. And so we're not seeing any of this stuff, but, but Blender is computing it, it's using up memory, and I had an idea. And I think it's a really cool idea, but let's see if it'll work. Let's see if this will work. So I, I selected my surface material, and I'm going to um, <clears throat> um, hit forward slash, and, just, and we'll just see the, 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 the surface. I'm going to um, add a plane and bring it down below everything. Scale it out. Cool. All right. So, um, guess what? We're going to add some more. Uh, we're going to add another vertex group to this. Out of we've already got four. Let's add another one. Let's play. And. Um, Before I do anything, let's name this. We're going to call this um, Masking Plane. And my idea is to just, because we're not even seeing all of this stuff down below, let's get rid of it. And we can do that um, by adding another, yet another one. Um, vertex weight edit and we're going to go with the very last group that we just created uh, go into weight paint mode so I can watch things happen um, default weight of one group add there it is cool now same thing as before. Whoops, what am I doing? Same thing as before. Um, let's go for the vertex weight proximity. Something I forgot to do with my plane is apply the scale. Um, whoops. Okay, so same vertex group. Target object. Um, masking plane. <clears throat> um, we're going, I guess we're going up here, so things are going to be a little bit different. Let's see, object, um, geometry here, face. There we go. We see a little bit of green down below. Um, cool. Now we're starting to see it up here. I don't really need to have um, anything but red or blue here. So what I'm going to do is median step this. Look at that. All right. So I guess it's maybe it's just rounding everything to either you know I don't know either to one or zero. Um, <clears throat> um, okay. So let's inch up. And so. I'm keeping the top. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I think that the red is going to stay and the blue is going to go, but we may need to reverse this. So, all right. So I'm at 30. I want to make sure that everything is still there. If I go too high, let's see what happens. Ooh, well, okay, we get to keep our drops. Um, 35. 
yeah look so it, we're gonna get rid of some of this surface and I don't want to do that um, it, we might have some weird weird effects happen and I don't want that so 30 <clears throat> all right cool I think this will work now um, add a modifier below all these how many do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now let's add a fourteenth one just for the heck of it and I want to find the mask modifier <clears throat> excuse me I'm uh, it's morning and I'm just waking up so <laughs> and my throat is like bleh. so okay um, vertex group last one nice so we just got rid of that whole not the whole bottom and we, we may still see some some little uh, shadows in the water around that square but we're not having to compute for this bottom is my theory is that's my theory and we're gonna test that all right so let's come out of local mode and then um, notice we still have all the bubbles and all the foam down below okay all the all the spray or whatever that's that's in, mixed in there um, and actually I'm gonna I'm gonna test that um, because I think there's more than just the bubbles here's the bubbles right okay let's look yeah there might yeah there's okay so not so much there's not no foam down there really and there's no spray down there but I'm gonna go ahead and mix all of these in because I know that when Suzanne was coming up she's mixed in um, she brought up some some air with her and they, I it, as I was um, baking out the the simulation I could see that there was actually spray and stuff down below so um, all right now watch this this is magic um, I, okay so I've got I'm gonna left click white water spray shift hold down my shift button shift key left click left click left click until the fluid surface the one that we just added our, our th three new modifiers to um, is the last one control L oh get out of weight paint mode go to object mode control L modifiers what happened oh I know exactly what happened um, okay so on all of these we still need to add the vertex group for them watch this the bubbles there they go magic right okay so we're still seeing all of the stuff that's close to the surface so if any of it appears you know close to the surface then I mean we should be able to see it if, if we can see into the surface a little bit but nothing below that where we're not seeing anything anyway alright okay now let's test this out I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these again and go to my modifier stack we're gonna um, okay so here's another magic trick the alt button um, I'm going to turn all of these off on the um, I'm sorry all three of these off on the camera so that when we render this out it's still going to um, be calculating for the entire thing actually let's do both so hold down your alt key click 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 now really I think all we needed to do was click on that mask actually so let's let's hold down the alt key let's click these again okay but also because we don't want it rendered in the camera we're going to hold down the alt key okay now let's check white water okay that's the surface white water bubble okay foam everything's going to be calculated we're going to render this out I'm gonna hit pause all right here we go F12 rendering it um, 
everything is still there and then we're going to render it without everything we'll see if we um, save any memory save any time um real quick i'm going to insert something in here this is actually after i've already done all the the um, other video but i'm going to insert it sort of in the middle here i want to show you or i want to explain what's going on here um okay so with the white water bubble selected i'm going to go ahead and um make sure that we have that visible and basically the way the flip fluid system works up it uses dupliverts as far this is what I understand at least and um, it puts a particle on every one of these vertices okay if the vertices don't exist then it won't put a particle there and that's why we um, will end up saving some um, computation and some um, hopefully some render time. Um, that's up to you to test, but uh, if it doesn't exist, as far as Blender is concerned, it's not going to put a, uh, um, it's not going to use that as a particle. Okay, so there's our first render. Um, and there's the time. We're not going to worry about that until we can compare times. Um, okay, so I still, oh no, okay, so make sure that I have everything selected and use my alt button turn on the camera turn on the eyeball and then check make sure that everything is there okay so I'm, I'm watching down here to to make sure that everything is uh, is turned on and I'm gonna hit over head over to slot number two by um, just typing two over in the keyboard and rendering it out again and hopefully we'll save some time hopefully we'll save a little memory so we'll see all right um okay so there whoops okay so i'm in slot one there's slot two that i just rendered let's have a look um i'm actually kind of excited by this uh optimization um, although the effect wasn't okay so before I recorded this I tried this out and I had about a five second difference here not so much it's like two seconds 347 on the first one and 345 on the on the second one um, there's still just a little bit of a um, an improvement and I think that that improvement might become greater as we incre increase our resolution and increase the, our, our particle number. Um, I don't know. It's something you'll have to have to look at and try. Um, I think it's worth it. And then also I checked on the memory and look at this. Um, here we have 560 peak of 751 and if I go and that's slot 1 and slot 2 it goes down to 504 and 695 at the peak so not I think that's not too bad and I think again we would um, we would save a lot of memory if we learn to sort of get rid of the things that aren't being rendered and that's one way to do it I'm sure there's others um, one way I thought of before it would be like a like a boolean you know just set up a cube underneath of the ocean I think that this one works better because it's not trying to put a face on everything. It, um, with Booleans, you end up actually putting an extra face on the bottom um, of, of what you... Okay, so you've gotten rid of, of the bottom part of that um, of the ocean surface, but also it's, it's, you're putting a face down there as well. So um, I'm not sure that that would work as well and also sometimes with booleans there's some calculation problems you end up with some weird results so I think the masking might be the best way to do this alright so that was just an idea um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave these hooked up I um, frame 228 is sort of where I was at with my rendering out this uh, animation <laughs> so it's not going to do me much good but also let's have a look at the difference between the two images here's slot one slot two there is just no difference that I can see slot one slot two slot one slot two all right okay so there you go um, have a good day and I hope that this is of some use to someone thanks a lot